Now welcome to your beautiful home. Hi, this is Jake Bautista from MetroGuard Realty. And before we begin, for quality home tours, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Now, welcome to our latest open house tour for a brand new 22-unit townhome development for sale located near Tandang Sora here in Quezon City. So this property is just 5 minutes away from Commonwealth Avenue and just about 5 to 10 minutes away from Visayas Avenue. So as you can see, the whole property is currently pre-selling. There are just certain units that have already completed. But this is a project with 9 units on the left, another 9 units on the other side, and then you also have 4 units at the end of the development. So if you look right now, we have a tractor here, right here in the middle, but this is all going to get cleared out and finished within the next 12 months. So right now, follow me as we take a look at the model unit. Each unit has four levels with a lot area of approximately 74 to 98 square meters and a floor area of approximately 219 to 312 square meters. The ground level has a spacious carport area for three vehicles. The carport area partially covers the cars and there's an open area here for ventilation and additional light. And as we head on here to the back, you have a potential service area and a maid's room. This is an auxiliary staircase leading to the second floor kitchen and living area. Let's take a quick look here. So the maid's room has a window here and its own bath. Aside from the impressive facade, one other notable thing about this project is you have a really wide road. It's a single road from the entrance to the back of the development and they made it really wide so that it has a very open feel. So this is one of the widest, if not the widest road that I've seen in a townhouse development. Now welcome to your beautiful home. Upon entering the house, you have an entrance foyer here with a large window so that you can have a view of your cars upon coming in and out of the house. In addition, you have additional storage space here underneath the stairs. Now let's go! Now welcome to the second level of this home where you have an open living and dining space. You can see that it has a very open feel and this house has been interior designed as a model unit but this is a fantastic example of how you can maximize the space and really decorate it in a very elegant way. So you see that you have these large windows across the front of the living space and you have more than enough space here for a comfortable living set and you can have your large television here on the other side with a really nice indirect lighting feature. And this is included for those who want to have an interior designer, but this isn't really built into the turnover unit. If you'd like to visit the site, we can take you to the turnover units if we do a tripping, okay? And from here, you have your open kitchen, spacious enough to have a range hood, cooktop, and you have a provision here if you want to have either a table or a countertop. That's an, an informal hangout area. You can even make this a small bar if you'd like. 
And on this side, you have the dining area. So this can very comfortably sit about uh, four to six people, depending on the type of table you'd like. And it has a really nice Filipino-themed uh, interior design motif. And on this side, you have a powder room for guests. This door is an access door leading to the auxiliary staircase towards the carport area. And now let's take a look at the second level where we have your master bedroom. Welcome to the third level. And in this landing area, you have a terrace. It gives you a view of your living space, but the main purpose of this is more for ventilation. And you see that you have the blackout curtains extending all the way from the third level down to the second level. And if you open this up, you have these windows, which brightens up the entire area. And now let's take a look at your master bedroom. Master bedroom, has a really nice shape in terms of being able to configure your furniture because it's not irregular shaped, it's a almost a square shaped room. You have nice cove lighting over here and there's more than enough space here for a large widescreen TV and as you can see, a really spacious bed. You also have a large window right beside the bed giving you great sunlight and natural light throughout the room. Even if we turn off the lights, this is gonna be well lit. And here you have your walk-in closet and bathroom. So you see, this whole area is well lit because you have this window over here and there's plenty of storage space across this entire wall. And you have a door here which keeps the moisture in the bath space. And once you open this up, you have a really elegantly designed bath area. And from the master bathroom, You have an additional storage room. You can make this a closet area. You can make this an additional workspace. So it's currently been set up as a dresser space or potential workbench area. So it's up to you how you wanna maximize this. And now let's go to the fourth level where you have two more bedrooms. If you like collecting art, the landing areas of the staircases is a great spot to put artwork. And for the fourth level, you have a nice space here for your own light fixture. It depends on what you or your interior designer would like. And from here, let's take a look at the second bedroom. This room is really well lit because it has a large window facing the front of the property. And you have enough space here for a single bed and a study table area. You also have an additional space here where you have built-in cabinetry. And now let's head on over to the third bedroom. So the second and third bedroom have a shared bathroom, which we have right here. So the layout of the bathroom doesn't feel cramped because it's very well segregated from the bath space, the toilet, and the sink area. And here you have the third bedroom. The third bedroom is bigger than 
the second one. And there's more storage space. That's why you have an additional storage cabinet over here and even a big study table here. And there's still more than enough space to maneuver and you even have an additional bench area on this side, beside the window. So this is a real nice design touch in terms of creating a feature wall for your television set on the other side. And you have a walk-in closet space here. And that ends our quick tour. For an overview of the site plan, the project has a total land area of 2,698 square meters with 22 units. It has two types of units with floor areas ranging from 219 to 312 square meters and lot areas ranging from 74 to 98 square meters. For the specific unit features, the units have 3 to 4 bedrooms, 2 to 3 bathrooms, 2 to 3 vehicle carports, a living area, a dining area, a kitchen space, a maid's room, and a service area. And all this just 5 minutes away from Commonwealth Avenue and 10 minutes to Visayas Avenue. We hope you enjoyed this quick property tour video of this brand new 3-bedroom townhome development for sale located here in Tandam Sora near Congressional Avenue, Visayas Avenue, and Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City. So if you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message to Instagram and Facebook. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista from Metro Guide Realty. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bring you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.